to the adventure in Pinland on W4CY Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Pipe Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures of Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with our next guest, who I have to totally publicly apologize to, because we were supposed to talk last week, and I'm in Costa Rica right now, and I got screwed up with the time zones. <laughs> so, I, I'm usually on Eastern time, but here it's, co- uh, it's Central time, and we're on like Tico time here, <laughs> which, which to explain right. that. Tico time means everybody takes their time and there is no like time. And right. uh, I came in like an hour, hour late or something like that because of the time zone. So I'm going to publicly apologize to you guys right off the bat because I never do that. Almost 3000 interviews. I think that's like only the second time I've ever done that crap, but must be too much surfing and monkeys. I don't know. Right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, we know that we, 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 it sounds familiar, you know. <laughs> so, be fine. I brought you guys on because you guys have some badass new music coming out. I, I, I love it. And I listen, I don't interview bands if I don't like their music because I don't get press people that do that. Because how can you be like pumped and promote music that you don't like and sound real? But you guys are badass. So I'll formally wel- welcome to the show. So welcome, Aluma Shade. How are you? Well, thanks for that great intro. Uh, it's nice to be here. Um, like your glasses, by the way. <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs> but yeah, if you're in Costa Rica, you better you better wear your shades, right? No doubt. And listen, I live in Florida most of the year. Like I. Li- I live in Florida part of the year, and then I travel the rest of the year outside the U.S. to get away from all the crazies and when it's not festival season. Right. <laughs> so, so during festival season, I'm going on tour doing coverage at radio festivals, all uh, at music festivals all over the U.S., U.K., and Europe. But it, I mention this because in Florida, the sun is brutal. It's brutally hot, and I should be used to that. And the first couple days I was in Costa Rica, I was stupid, overdid it, went on like a five-hour hike in the sun, and then went for surfing for three hours, and I got sun poisoning. <laughs> sun poisoning, even? Ooh, yes. Rough. Yes, was not fun. <laughs> oh, shit. It, yeah, the sun is brutal here. But the sunsets are freaking amazing. You know, they're like. I don't, I, I've traveled all over the world. I, I don't know. I, I don't think I've seen a better sunset anywhere, but you know, no better, no better way to enjoy your new album, but sitting on the beach at the sunset with the earbuds in listening to another side of you, which is coming out very soon now. Uh, yeah. So tell us a little bit about the album. We have the album cover behind me, which I love album art. Like, man, kids are missing out nowadays because album art's some of the coolest crap. And I love how it didn't even happen on purpose, but I'm purposely like in the middle with, I ha- like I have the wings. So I like that. <laughs> so tell us about the album. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, all right. Um, so first of all, thank you for, for having us as well from my side. And I love the background. Looks like you have two wings. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> indeed um yeah so another side of you um it's it's like a compilation of the songs that we wrote throughout the past two three years i would say it started out with um a few songs that we just wrote 
out in the blue, if you can say like that, without the vision of having an actual um, full length album. And um, then by the end, when we started negotiating with Napalm, signing, um, the vision got more clear and the goal to actually release a full length album. And then we, yeah, in last summer kind of uh, finished everything that was missing, let's say, um, and went to the studio and now it's coming out in within a week, so it's it's crazy. <laughs> I know that's wild, right? Time goes quick, doesn't it? Now, it? Like every year, it seems to go faster. Like I can't, I can't even believe we're already in February. February, yeah, absolutely. So, I tell us a little bit about like I was watching the video for Cloud Reader, which that's a badass video, badass song. Tell us more about that song, because that's the newest single, right? It is, yeah. Um, well, it's definitely a very approachable song in a way that it's it's pretty poppy in a way, right? Yeah, you got the catchy chorus. Still, there's like very intricate stuff going on if you, you know, dare to listen closely, which for me makes it one of my favorites. Maybe it's my favorite of the day. I mean, that stuff changes, right? As you sometimes <laughs> right? you can't hear the song anymore, and then you begin to love love it again. Um, I, I guess it's one of those songs that came to be in a very typical Illumishate manner, where you know, Fabi had that verse. You had more, of course, but the the verse part with that the piano and the and the vocal melody that just struck me, and I. I just uh, I knew that we have to do something with that, and then I just worked out the like an arrangement, and took parts and changed parts. So it came about very naturally. Um, I I have to say it's I really like this song. I can't. I, I mean, I usually don't say that about a lot of songs that I personally was involved in, but um, it's, it's, it's hard, a, right? It's hard to like. Yeah, you're your own worst critic anyway. So it's yeah. like. Really even different. me i'll do interviews and like after the interview they're like oh my god that was the best interview ever and i'm like thinking in my head i sucked <laughs> <laughs> we all do, yeah i guess we all we all do right we, we think the same we have the same patterns there but this song i can honestly say i still like it i like to perform it live even though it's kind of like a bitch to play um also i guess it's a it's a song that is trying to be uplifting telling about you know um, life in in all its different stages without trying to be preachy if you know what i mean yeah because we definitely don't want to do that but yeah mm. i guess it's our uplifting positive hymn of this this record kind of see and i love that and that's more real anyway because when you're preachy it's not real and i'm very much about positive stuff but you can't force it like yeah. you can tell if somebody's forcing or not, just like with musicianship, you watch bands up on stage and you can tell if they're just going through the motions or they're just freaking loving what they're doing and they're in a zone. And that's yeah. the bands I like, the ones that are loving what they're doing in, in a zone. Right, yeah. right. I have to say too, okay, something caught my attention because it was funny because I was saying in the beginning of the interview that, you know, I travel on, on the off season. Um, uh, so last year I spent uh, two months in the Netherlands because I love the Netherlands and my, the apartment I rented was in Amstelveen and <laughs> I was like, Oh man, I, this year, la if it was last year, I could have gone to your show. Cause you, yeah. I didn't even know that there were shows in that town. Like <laughs> I walked the whole town and I was like, I, I didn't even know there were shows. And I saw that, I'm like, wow, I wonder where that was. <laughs> so so ha how has it been on the road so far? And how are people take accepting your new music? Well, I think we can say it was such a cool tour. It was our first one. So... We didn't really know what to expect. Uh, I think many things are learning by doing um, and with it comes with experience, but I think we prepared really well. Um, shout outs to the guys with all the, 
the life equipment everybody prepared um and we had a great team we had a, a really cool like mini nightliner um nice yeah, it was it was so good. We had a great crew um, with our sound engineer, merch lady, everything. It was I don't know. It just felt so good. Delane was very welcoming, very supportive. Um, the crowds as well, I would say. Um, I don't know. It was just really cool. And talking about Cloud Reader, I was actually amazed how well it is perceived live. Like you see the smile in uh, on the faces of the people and uh, just uh, it, it has the drive as well. Uh, I was, I think, a little bit skeptical, probably the most skeptical person in the band about Cloud Reader. <laughs> and, <laughs> proof. and why is that? What were you skeptical about? I, I yeah, I mean, I, I understand that it's uh, like the, the chorus is catchy, the length, everything is perfect for a single, like thinking in these kind of terms. I was just, I don't know, I had my doubts if it is a little bit too bright in a, in, in some <laughs> sense, but I think this is, it's good. It's good. I'm happy we did it. I'm, I'm happy, uh, especially Jonas was uh, like really standing up for this song and I'm, I'm happy that it <laughs> went the way it went now. <laughs> nice. And speaking of shows, coming up in March, you have a couple uh, album release shows. So let's talk about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, it's two shows in Switzerland. So one is in the French part, one in the German part, like home hometown show in Zurich. And uh, yeah, we're bringing uh, three other great bands. So we bring our good friends from Ad Infinitum. We've played together before we supported them on their album release show uh back in 21 mm -hmm. i think so or 22. yeah oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's going to be great then we have lyra which is the uh, new project from michalina malish who was the is a former hurdy gurdy player uh in l80 um we're bringing her along also, that's a super cool project to check out. And then we got Voice of Ruin. I think they're from the French part, right? From Switch of Switzerland, yeah. Switzerland. So yeah, it should be like a like a, a mini festival. I love it. That sounds <laughs> yeah. like a fun time to me. I, and and then okay, so I get back to the States in April because then I have to go on tour for festivals in the US uh in May, and then I have festivals in the uk in uh june and in august and then so, uh, have one in the u.s in july but you guys are going to be in north america in april yeah. so uh, that's badass uh, you'll be all in, all over the u.s canada uh that's a pretty cool tour hey, have you guys played in the u.s or canada before not with Illumishade. Um, Jonas and me, we were two times with El uh over there. And uh, I, I always, always love these these tours. So I'm super curious uh, when we will come with Illumishade uh, joining Corpi Clani and Visions of Atlantis. So that's going to be something. We're planning everything. It's many things to think about. Um, and just can't wait because I mean, uh, the Americans or Canadians, I mean, the passion for music and, and the energy um, during the, the concerts. I'm just really looking forward to that. See, I love hearing that because over in the States, we all talk about Europe and that's the place where the passion for the music is. So the bottom line is the passion is everywhere, you know? And yeah. I mean, and I also feel good now that I'm interviewing you because now I've done the hat trick because both the other bands that you're touring with in North America, I've already interviewed. So I've, I, now I, I've completed the trio for the tour. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> Perfect. So tell everybody how they hit you guys up on social media, on the web, how they can pre-order the album everything you want to know about promoting your merch and your albums and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, if you really want to do us a favor, you should pre order, pre order the, like the album now or the, the vinyl actually. I mean, it maybe 
by the time this interview comes out, it's, the album is out because we'll I get don't... it out quicker than that. Oh, okay, okay. So let's pre-order. I want <laughs> them all to pre-order. They they can't listen to my show unless they pre-order. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean that that supports us for sure. Um, I mean we've come up with a very um, reasonable idea to put out a double vinyl in 2024. That's, uh, yeah, but, I, that's brave. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but in the end, we're all just music lovers and music nerds. And we know that the metal scene is still, there's people who are like minded. So, uh, yeah, we count on you out there. <laughs> uh, well, listen, I'm one of those because I miss the days of when, like, listen. In the 80s, we used to love it when somebody came out with a double album. That was right. like the most killer thing. It was like you had to run out and get it because it was a double album. Nowadays, people to get through a, one song sometimes is an effort. And I think we, I think it's changing, though. I think it's going back to because of the resurgence of vinyl, people actually listening to albums. And I yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah, I I agree, or I mean, I hope so as well. Um, but having said that, if you are into Spotify and, and the streaming services, of course, you can find us on all of the all of those. Of course, I mean, uh, yeah, Bandcamp as well, and we also do have an an American uh, band store, our own. Um, so there, we will even. Yeah, I don't know. We 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 will have the album as well. Um, actually, you can even pre-order it there, but we didn't push it that much <laughs> yet. Um, <laughs> so, yes, yes, absolutely. As much as I know, it should be available on Amazon and stuff as well at some point. I, wow! <laughs> nice. Mean, something like that. So <laughs> yeah, and, and is... our bio on Instagram and so on, Facebook, everywhere, everywhere on our. We lost you for a second there. Yeah. You dropped, you dropped off for a second, but you're back. Good. Yeah. Everything's up black. I'm back. That's good. <laughs> good. How about TikTok? You guys got a TikTok? <laughs> we do. <laughs> we try. What, what, what's the craziest TikTok that you did? Is there one? <laughs> Not, not, not really. We're just reposting. <laughs> yeah. See, see now when when you do this North American tour, you're just gonna have to like do TikToks in every city. Right. Okay. Okay. That's a good. Thanks for the. See, the, there you go. Yeah. It could, it could be the TikTok tour of of North America. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do that actually. Uh, because we need there you to. Go. We need to grow, right? Yeah. That's right. That's right. Any final words you want to give our listeners that we haven't touched on yet that you want them to know about your band and your music? Um, hmm. That's the trick question right there. Right? Yeah, that's the <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what I think the final words are is they have to go out and pre-order and buy another side of you or else they have to go on another show to to because they can't listen to my show. So <laughs> right, right. I'm, seriously, yeah. everybody, check it out. Check out the video for Cloud Reader. You're gonna love it. Okay, it's badass, and that's coming from, as all my listeners know, an old school metalhead. That it is kind of poppy, but it's cool. It's a cool kind of poppy. It's like <laughs> it's something that sticks in your head. That's what I got from it. So right. everybody check it out. And thanks, you guys, for making such badass music. And thanks for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Hey, thank you. Yeah, so man, much. it's been a pleasure. Um, pleasure. Uh, Pleasure's we'll see, all mine. We'll see you uh, in the States, maybe, right? Yeah, let's hope so. Are you going to be playing any festivals? Not in the States, no. Uh, oh, so bummer. You're not back in the States, right, then, in April? I'll be back in the States in April, uh, except I don't think you're, I'm going to be in Florida. I don't think you're going to be in Florida, but you're in, I was, you're going to be starting off in uh, Reading, PA, and yeah. then going to New York City. As we call it, like I'm born in New York, 
We call it the city. Like anybody in the United States, if you say the city, they know what city you're talking about. There's like, and if there's anybody, it's like, what city? Like, shut up, dude. <laughs> there's only one city. So I, I live in Florida. I drive by Miami, which is a cool place, but. I'm like, they call that a city? That's not a city. Because <laughs> like, right. you can drive by it and it, it, you missed it, you know? But uh, oh, where are you guys playing in New York, by the way? I Do you know? know? Maybe Gramercy. Uh, I think. Uh, Do you know? I, I can quickly check. Okay. Yeah, and then, and then after New York, you go to Boston. And then Montreal. Montreal is one of my favorite cities in the world. Oh, too. yeah. It's always also the people. Yeah, the show will be great for sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. I love Montreal. Yeah. So you, you guys will be in Reading, PA, New York City, Boston, Montreal, Ottawa, Toronto, Pontiac, Michigan, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Minneapolis, Winnipeg, Regina, Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver, Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, oh. Los Angeles. San Diego, Phoenix, Denver, Lincoln, Nebraska, Joliet, Illinois. There's a lot of badass cities yeah. in that tour. Yeah. Like, there's oh, it's long. <laughs> the, those are like those are like the major cities to go to, except like you know Lincoln, Nebraska. But you got to play there. <laughs> Good old, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, by the, way, the Gramercy, I quickly checked. Yeah, it is yeah. right. Nice. Yeah. Gramercy is cool. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, a hundred percent. Well, yeah. you guys are badass, and uh, man, oh, can't are, wait man. to get to North America. And everybody, make sure to get the new album because you will love it. Yes, thank you guys. Thanks and a lot. On the road. Yeah. Even old school metalheads like it, as you prove. There it is. <laughs> thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.